Okay, in this example, I want to do just a couple more examples of applying rules of exponents. And this time we just have a few fractions floating around. And the main rule you need to remember with fractions So suppose I have x to the n over y to the m all being raised to the p power. What it says is, it says we can basically sort of distribute the exponent to the top part, distribute the exponent to the bottom part, and then we have the rule that we saw in a previous video where you just multiply the two exponents together. So n times p, and on the bottom we'll have y raised to the m times p. So that's what we'll do in this case. Um, so here I've got x squared over 2. Again, you could make this to the first power if you want to see an exponent. Um, never hurts, I think. So here we would have x squared being raised to the fourth power over 2 to the first being raised to the fourth power. Okay, so now we're at this step. And then it says again we just multiply the exponents. So 2 times 4 will be to the 8th power. Um, if we take 2, we have an exponent of 1 and then a 4. We multiply those. That'll give us 2 to the 4th power. There's not much you can do in terms of simplifying the numerator. We'll just leave that x to the 8th. But we can rewrite 2 to the 4th. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times another 2 is 8, times another 2 will give us 16. So it says our final solution is x to the 8th over 16. Okay, so we can do the same thing here with our second example. We have 4 over n to the 6th all being squared. I'm going to stick an exponent in there. So again, we can write that as 4 to the 1st squared um, n to the 6th squared. I think when you get a little more comfortable with these, let me go down here so it doesn't run into my other problem. I think when you get more comfortable you can actually kind of skip this step. I, I definitely tend to, but I think at the beginning it's certainly a good idea to write things out. Always write things out when you're unsure. Um, I think it's a good, it's just good form. It keeps you from making so many mistakes. So 1 times 2, that'll give us to the second power. Again on the bottom we have 6 times 2, which is to the 12th. 4 squared is 4 times 4, that'll give us 16, and then we have our n to the 12th just hanging out on the bottom. Okay, So that'll be uh, our original 4 over n to the 6th all squared. We can simplify that by saying that's 16 over n to the 12th power.